okay uh, welcome viewers so in this video lecture uh, we want to solve some questions of uh, recurrence relation okay uh, recurrence relation so uh, the very first problem is this that 1 by delta into 5 raised to the power k okay see in this form uh, where we have 5 raised to the power k we need e in the denominator okay and what is the relationship between e and delta e equal to delta plus 1 so the value of delta is e minus 1 okay so here i can write 1 by e minus 1 uh, into 5 raised to the power k okay so what to do here uh, wherever you have e okay uh, there you put this number okay wherever you have e there you put this number 5 so it is 5 minus 1 into 5 raised to the power k okay so 1 by 5 minus 1 it is 4 5 raised to the power k so this is the answer okay so check which option is correct this c option is correct this c option is correct i hope ki you people have understood this problem now see the next question uh, next question is uh, 1 by delta uh, 2 raised to the power k into k okay again e it is equal to delta plus 1 so delta it is equal to e minus 1 okay so write down this thing uh, 1 by uh, e minus 1 2 raised to the power k into k so this is type 4 question okay uh, where you have the product of two terms so what you do you write this 2 raised to the power k to the left of this fraction and change this e to 2 e okay minus 1 uh, into k now after this step again change uh, e to delta so this is 2 times 1 plus delta minus 1 into k so this is uh, equal to 2 raised to the power k 1 by 2 plus 2 delta minus 1 uh, into k so it is 2 raised to the power k 2 minus 1 what it is it is 1 1 plus 2 delta 1 plus 2 delta into k so it is 2 raised to the power k 1 plus 2 delta raised to the power minus 1 uh, into k now apply here binomial expansion so it is 1 minus 2 delta okay uh, and this k can be written as uh, k raised to the power 1 factorial okay and you know you need not to expand it further okay because here if you have k raised to the power 1 then you need only delta raised to the power 1 only okay so it is 2 raised to the power k uh, now k into 1 raised to the power 1 factorial it is k raised to the power 1 factorial minus 2 times delta into k raised to the power 1 factorial okay so this is equal to 2 raised to the power k uh, k raised to the power 1 factorial uh, delta behaves like derivative operator when it whenever it is applied on factorial polynomial so the answer of this is correct okay so it is 2 raised to the power k okay and it is k minus 2 okay so 2 raised to the power k uh, into k minus 2 so you see that that this option uh, it is the correct answer okay this is the correct answer of this problem now we see the next question so next uh, we want to solve this problem uh, question number sorry i write this question on this side question number 8 okay uh, 1 by e into 2 raised to the power k uh, into k okay now write this 2 to the left side of this fraction and change this e to 2e uh, into k okay uh, 
uh, now uh, change this e to 1 plus delta and change this uh, k to k raised to the power 1 plus delta. Okay. So this is equal to 2 raised to the power k by 2 1 plus delta raised to the power 6 by uh, into k raised to the power 1 plus delta. So it is 2 raised to the power k by 2 apply here binomial function so it is 1 minus delta into k raised to the power 4 2 raised to the power k by 2 k raised to the power 1 factorial is k raised to the power 1 minus delta mean derivative derivative of k it is 1 okay. so what is the answer answer is 2 raised to the power k by 2 uh, into k minus 1 okay. so you see that that this option Next is question number nine. So question number nine is this that one by delta into k. Okay, uh, see one by delta k can be written as k raised to the power one factorial. See as delta behaves like derivative operator, so one by delta it behaves like integration operator. So what is the integration of k raised to the power one? It is k raised to the power two factorial divided by so it is 1 by 2. K raised to the power 2 factorial mean k into k minus 1. So this is the answer. K into k minus 1. Okay. Now, now we solve the next problem. So the next question is question number 10. Uh, 1 by e into k. Okay. See, as this is a polynomial. So you convert this e in terms of delta. So e in terms of delta is 1 plus delta into k. Okay. So this is 1 plus delta uh, raised to the power minus 1. And this k can be written as k raised to the power 1 factorial. So this is equal to 1 minus delta into k raised to the power 1 factorial. So k raised to the power 1 factorial into 1 is what? k raised to the power 1 factorial minus delta of k raised to the power 1 factorial. So what it is? k raised to the power 1 factorial uh, delta of k it is what? 1. Okay. So the answer is k minus 1. Okay. k minus 1. This option is correct. Okay. Now next we solve uh, question number 11. So question number 11 is 1 by delta uh, into e raised to the power 2. Okay. So 1 by delta mean uh, e minus 1. And this can be written as e square uh, into k. Okay. Now you know that, that uh, whenever you have alpha raised to the power k, uh, in that case we replace e with alpha. Okay. So it is e raised to the power 2 minus 1 uh, into e raised to the power 2. I mean, wherever you have e, there you put this value, okay, uh, put e equal to e raised to the power 2, okay, so this gives you the answer, okay, so the final answer is e raised to the power 2k divided by e square minus 1. Now, next question, question number 12, question number 12 is 1 by e uh, into e raised to the power 2, and you can write here k, there is a problem. So uh, again, uh, wherever you have e, there you put yeah, e square. Okay. So what it is? It is one by e square uh, into uh, sorry one by e square uh, into e raised to the power two k. Okay. So one by e square into e raised to the power two. So see this option is correct. Okay. So this is all about uh, the recurrence relation. Okay. So more about it will be discussed in the next video lecture thank you very much viewer for watching this video